Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's video. So today I am showing you how to do the black ice effect but with embossing folders. Now I do have some other videos, I will link them down below where I use it with stamping but today we are playing with some emboss embossing folders and we're going to be making this beautiful card here. Let me just change my focus setting so you can see some of the effects. Okay, so I've got this up close here. As you can see, it kind of gives a sort of like a metal, like a hammered metal sort of effect here. It's really nice and effective. I love this technique. Right, so you're just going to be needing some very basic heat embossing and um, materials like that. So I have here the Versamark watermark stamp for clear embossing. I have here a black stays on ink pad. I have clear embossing powder and I have gold embossing powder because that is what um, sentiment I'm going to use today. So we'll be doing that from gold. Okay so let's start off by quickly making our card base. I have here some 12 by 12 black card. You can if you already have them, use them, um, 6 by 6 card. So I'm just going to use it from a 12 by 12. I'm going to cut it down at 6 inches and then I'm going to score it at 6. So let's pop that there. And I'm going to do it all on this paper trimmer as well. So this one here is going to be our scoring. So let's pop that at 6 and then score that and there we have our card base done how easy was that okay so that's our card base done set that aside time to do some embossing okay so next up you're going to be needing some gold mirror cardstock i will list this one this one's from hunky dory and i also have some black gloss cardstock as well from hunky dory we'll get to that in a moment when we do the sentiment that will be linked down below right so i have here my six by six we're going to trim this down to fit the card so we'll start off the six by six now let's grab the embossing folder which is this beautiful sunburst there we go this is from creative craft products it's the six by six sunburst embossing folder so let's uh, load this up i'm just going to pop this inside here line it all up that should fit in there okay and then let's switch over to our big shot i'm going to have to switch the plates out I have my magnetic platform here which lives there plus the plates. So I'm actually switching to the platform that came with the machine and we're going to remove this top one here. We're going to place our embossing folder there. Always pop it in with the hinge at the front. one cutting mat below, one above. It's going to be a bit of a toughy, but it will squeeze through. And there we have it. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love that and if you want to spritz the back of it before you run it through it, it, it should help to prevent any cracking but on my sample here I did have some cracking here I just think it adds to the effect of this particular um, style okay so I'm just going to grab out my glass mat here because I'm going to be using some stays on next here we are this is stays on in jet black hopefully you can see everything through these little mr on style um circles if anyone's old enough to remember if anyone's old enough to remember the mr ons give me a thumbs up i was old enough for the reruns <laughs> right so grab your stays on and keep it flat and then drag it across and down and you will find it's highlighting some of the areas now again I show you in other videos that I have on my channel on how to use this with your stamps with stamping techniques so just drag and rub this over try and keep it as flat as possible you will get a few um, inky fingers that's fine it comes with crafting a lot of you will be used to this just uh, give them a good wipe 
before you decide to touch anything else because it can uh, be contagious on your other projects and ruin them so just rub these this uh, pad over just like that and drag it across and now we have highlighted with the black if you can highlight with black but you, you know what I mean I have just highlighted all of those um, raised pieces okay let's pop this back together don't uh, yeah don't discard it says it on there don't throw that away keep it on there otherwise it could dry out okay now we're ready for our versamark now i have a really old one here that's all stained i keep a nice one nice and fresh for using with my clear inks but for messy work like this i'm going to be using this so again don't cover the whole lot just drag it in certain places you can go try and get into the nooks and crannies there as well go over the edge here It doesn't have to be perfect you'll find out um, as we finish this card there'll be patches that you have missed and that just adds to the effect so that is the Versamark uh, watermark stamp and now let's move over to our embossing powder I keep mine in sandwich boxes these are from Systema and now is actually a very good time to buy them because it's back to school and there'll be offers and things like that so if i can find any links for these on amazon i will i will link them down below so i just use a spoon here and just dab that on there's no need to use um an anti-static tool for this this is one of those times where you don't need one so i'm just tapping this on and then you can tap it off again see this box is perfect for um, putting your powder on and heat embossing there we go so you can see I have a few odd patches here don't worry about that it adds to the overall distressed effect okay so next up I'm going to move over to my heat tool and I'm going to warm it up for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to take it to my card. Okay, so that is all now done and you can see it's added this lovely textured look to it. Absolutely love that. Okay, so let's get this uh, trimmed down now. So all I'm going to do is just trim off these edges here. And that should make it small enough for us to for us to have a lovely little black border on our card okay so here is our card front and you can literally just glue it all down here you can see I've got a little bit of cracking there because I didn't spray it first with water um, I'm going to raise this up I think on some 3d foam pads so let's get those down I'm actually going to join this together with one of those pads just where it ripped there now I am doing a bit of OTT here with my foam pads because it is quite um, I would say out of shape if you want to be more economical you can cut them in half I'm just gonna pop this back on here there you go you can chop them as well chop up the last one there we go let's get all this backing off right 
make sure you know whether you want it this way open that way or open as a tent card just do your best to line everything up in the right place there we go press down as you can see it still wants to be lumpy and bumpy so I'm glad I went overboard there with the adhesive foam pads okay sentiments I'm going to be using um, the winter sparkle stamp and die set I absolutely love this one and one of my favorite stamps is the the naughty nice and I tried so let's get this one out and this is the matching die to cut that out as well so everything on here is going to be perfect for your card making and it they all come with the outline dies as well so it's a duo set there and I'll be using some hunky dory black gloss I love this stuff trim section up there hopefully that's big enough yes it should be and this is where I will be using my embossing powder um, tool this in place I find this is the most the most easiest way to stamp nowadays there we go doesn't have to be perfect on there because we're going to be cutting it out anyway okay embossing powder tool this is the anti-static bag so it's going to help our embossing powder to stick where we want it to stick instead of everywhere else okay so let's go back to the Versamark watermark stamp give that a good press and I can see that that's all right so now let's take that out get that lid back on there tidy all this up later because during this stage I just want to get straight to embossing okay so I have my gold here and let's tap this on okay so all I have to do now is just heat up my embossing tool if you do find that you do get a little bit of extra embossing powder in places just use a tiny little paintbrush just to clean that off so let's preheat this for 30 seconds and then heat emboss so let's get that cut out back to my magnetic platform this is where it's really useful to have your magnetic platform it helps to keep everything in place it doesn't help when it's curly but when everything is flat it really does do a really good job as you can see it's trying
And there we go. I love that. I really do. That's going to be perfect for loads of different things. Mini albums, cards. You can pop it on a, a stocking box if you make some Christmas stocking boxes. Okay, so let's finish this card off. All we have to do is pop on another foam adhesive pad there and stick that. Make sure that's the right way around still. Yep, and pop that on. There we go. That is our card done. Nice and simple. How fast was that? I mean, you could make loads of these if you do everything in batches as well. How lovely is that? Okay, so that is how to do the black ice effect with embossing folders. I can't wait to see your makes. Um, I'd love for you to join me in my paper crafting group, which is Paper Crafting with Helen Griffin on Facebook. I would love to see all of your makes there. Um, lot of, lots of you are already sharing your wonderful things, and it's just so lovely to see. We're a lovely group, so don't be shy. Please come and join us. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me today. Everything that I have used is listed down below. If I forget anything, drop me a note and I'll pop it there uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this one subscribe in the corner there by clicking on the icon and I'll see you all again soon